This is Twit. We, Andy and I were talking about it. I decided, I think you agree, Andy, it's a content consumption device. It's too small really to do much typing on. I think that it's it's it really is. I hate to be so banal, but it really is the definition of larger than a phone, smaller than an iPad, or smaller than a tablet. And that's for tasks too. Where, like like you were saying, sometimes you used to spend so much time on Reddit. You spend so much time. I spend so much time like keeping up with news, reading. It's perfect reading, for uh, that. Papers, news, reading exactly. books, news, any websites, and perfect for that. I was last yeah, night. And, I was reading a website. Lisa leaned over and said. What is that? Is it your Kindle? I said, no, no, it's the Mini. So that's yeah. perfect. I said, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and it is and it is nice to have something where there. When I when I'm out of the office for like three or four hours, oftentimes I will just stick something with a large screen in my pocket because sometimes some see, more more so when I was writing for the paper than for than now. But it's like something happened right now, and I'll be it'll be four hours before I can be back in my office. I definitely need to write 800 words right here, right now on this park bench. I guess I could. And I wouldn't like that. want yeah. to, but I could. Right, it fits. It fits right in my European carry-all, very nicely. Right, exactly, it fits, it fits in my in jacket the back pocket. pocket of my non-hipster, non-skinny <laughs> yeah. jeans. And notice, by the way, I keep the pencil on it. And and actually, I was inspired uh, by Om Malik, who wrote a little piece about how much he likes his mini. And he yeah. pointed out that while you wouldn't want to do a lot of data entry on it because the keyboard's so small, the scribble, the new scribble feature in iPad OS, is just right. And the pencil is just right for a lot of the gesture-y kind of things that you want to do. I think it's an instant well, notes and stuff like that. Because Scribble is very accurate. It, you can write in, accurate enough, I can write in Google searches into my browser and things like that. So I kind of feel like the pen, it's a, it fits yeah. very naturally. with I, the, You can put one of these in your bag, Leo. The, just like the purple version. Yeah, see, I have yeah. that. I, Andy, remember Andy recommended that folding thing Canvas, that you put the, yeah. the keyboard in? Yeah. I have that. I don't want to you you that, color match it that's now. too that's as that's bigger than the iPad. The whole right. point of this the, is compact. <laughs> I think the pen is the really an important piece of it because for instance, you know, I build a lot of um, I, I probably build one or two slide decks a, a week. And I have a very specific pattern of how I do it. Is I, I lay it out, I I, I put it out, I you sound like Liam notes. Neeson. I have a very specific <laughs> pattern of <laughs> <set> <laughs> specific set of skills. <laughs> yeah, the, that um, that I've acquired over many years. Yes. Uh, so so, but my pattern is that I, I go into notes and I and I write out, I outline what I want to do, what what the slides are going to say, and I just find it easier to think about it in single words or or lines. Then I go to my iPad and I draw everything. I draw every I draw every slide. I just look at notes and I just draw every slide. And that a little a little it doesn't I don't care how big the screen is. These are like chicken scratches of I'm going to have this here and then I'm going to have a little thing that goes over here. And the reason I do that is because if you start building your slide deck, it's really easy for you to get caught up in like what picture and should these have rounded corners and what text am I going to use? And you don't want to think about that when you're trying to think about the whole story flow of your of your deck. I have a phrase for that. And the com computer editing lends itself to dicking around. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Show but yeah, that's the key. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and, and it's the dicking around is the enemy of productivity. Yeah. So, so what you do is you get the whole, first you get the outline done, then you get the, the visual story done, and then you, and then you fill it all in with graphics and then you tweak it all and then you're done. And now the filling in with graphics and the tweaking, I do all in, in, uh, on the desktop because the it's too hard to do that in fine detail and on the iPad. But then I oftentimes present from my iPad. You know, so I, I either present it via AirPlay or I hook it up to an HDMI output. And I mean, like 99% of the time I'm, I'm displaying. And so the mini, I, I hadn't bought it yet, but I decided last night when I was, I was using my larger iPad and I was like, <laughs> I really want a smaller one. I decided last night I'm going to order one. So, yeah, the so one, anyway, the one uh, I don't have is the 11, yeah, which yeah. might be perfect. I don't know. The 12.9 mm -hmm. is so amazing. big. It's a computer. It's a laptop. That's the one which, I have. You know what yeah. happened and that's all I bought video? for a while. Yeah, yeah. On Saturday, a certain person named Georgia Dow stole my 11-inch iPad for the exact same reason. <laughs> She'd been using a MacBook Air. She hated the 12.9-inch. She goes, what's this? It was just on the table. It was minding its own business. I said, well, it's the 11-inch. What? Bye -bye. She picked it up, it's and then she left with now. it. <laughs> yes. I, the Mini is, the touch targets on it are really, really small. In fact, I don't know, you probably can't even see this, but my dock, which, by the way, seems to be able to expand infinitely. I don't know. At some point, I'll guess yeah. I'll run out. <laughs> but it, my dock, when it's in portrait mode, it's not. It's not terrible when it's in landscape mode, but when it's so in portrait mode, those touch targets are so small. What's the story? 
It's a, there's, there's a really funny story about that. So Steve Jobs did not want an iPad mini. He thought it was dumb. He rallied against small tablets he, on conference calls. He's the guy who said, he said, you have to sharpen, sharpen your, your fingers. fingers. Yeah. 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 And then Eddie Q got the Galaxy Tab, and he's like, this is great. We've got to make this. And Tim's like, no, forget. Sorry, and Steve's like, no, forget. He's like, no, we really got to make this. They're, he's like, all right, fine. Like, like the same as, as iTunes on Windows. It's your fault if it fails. So they made it, and then the, the team was like, look, we just did an iPhone. We just did an App Store. We just did an iPad. We do not have time to make another complete interface for something and someone said well why don't we just shrink it down what well if we shrink it down it'll be the exact same size as the iphone we'll take the ipad interface it'll shrink down to the iphone tap target size and we'll just ship it so they didn't bother to make a whole new interface they just used the ipad interface at iphone density uh oh that, that's that interesting a, that, that that was yeah. in itself brilliant because that meant that you don't have to spin up developers on here. Right. Is, we, need, we need you yep. to create new, new interfaces. It's just also that was, a, that was a selling point for me when I bought mine. Uh, I, I think I bought the first generation. It was like, no, this will run all the apps that you enjoy on the iPad at the original scale, at the original size with no adaptations. And so that was like, great, take it, done. And yet iPhone apps aren't horrible on this. I mean, they're... There's yeah. clearly still iPhone I mean, apps. like Instagram, because there's no iPad app. It just drives me nuts. Can you, can you make yeah. actual cell phone calls with it? If you have the cellular service, or is it always just No, the data? cellular service no. is a data-only no service. App. But, so by the way, here's the Instagram app, which you can, it fills the screen nicely, but you can right. tell it's an iPhone app, right? It just doesn't quite have and it that And it breaks with every new iPhone, because they hard-code it to every specific so iPhone, stupid. and now I think they're just terrified of trying to make, so of recoding dumb. it to make an iPad app. And yet... Uh, this is consumable. I mean, if it almost fills the screen, it's cons it's it's yeah. it almost feels like it, it's an iPad app on the if mini. If only Apple anyway. had something called size classes yeah. they could use to yeah. make it automatically That's fit any device. To be so, I if forgot what you, what, what, were you what were you saying, uh, Alex? I forgot. I was, oh, I was just asking if you can make so cell phone calls because I. Oh, that's right. This is a big question people, for me because I wanted to make this my phone. Right. Because so, I never pick up my phone. I never do this. I mean, I never put my phone up against my head, ever. So, so your so SIM has a phone number. That's how the, all the carriers work. But it doesn't right. work as a phone through the SIM. However, there are plenty of services that will do data-based phone calls. Well, I, 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 I do. I use Apple. Um, you said FaceTime all the time. FaceTime audio yeah. all the time. Like, yeah. like, literally, that is my primary way of calling anybody with a blue with the blue thing but, and everybody else i schedule time to meet on zoom so i'm <laughs> or playing something. with like ways I, I schedule it because what you really the one thing missing is a way to call a phone number a landline from your yeah. mini and google voice yeah, will do that skype will do that yeah um yeah. there there are plenty of programs that will do that uh so i'm really I still tempted. have i guess my whole thing is is that is that i can do something where 90 i can make 90 percent of the calls 95 percent of the calls that i would normally make and then i still have a phone for the things that need to if you pay a little bit of money you get a regular phone number with skype which i have right and then that this becomes the phone number of my mini so yes i think the answer is and increasingly so because lte is you know voice over lte now and, and everything's moving to data i think increasingly well, I so found this that could be a phone I found that that with uh, I don't know what's happened with cell towers, whether it's the five G or I don't know what it is, but it's gotten a lot worse um, recently. It, and I actually has, find are you Verizon? Uh, I'm both Verizon and AT and T, and both are yeah. are worse. Lisa's you know, complaining and, about that too. She threw out a, I I use T Mobile. She said, "No, I'm not going to use it. Verizon's so much better." And now she's bitching because it's not it's, so good anymore. So I at my house, which used to work just fine. Yeah, my cell phone numbers are my cell phone calls are falling apart all the time. And so I just decided to, that's why, that's what moved me to, to the Apple FaceTime audio was, was that I right. suddenly had nice clear calls. And then I got so used to the quality of the FaceTime audio that I don't want to go back to the cell phone anytime. And so now I'm just driving and I just call with FaceTime audio unless I have to go to a cell number, you know? And so, um, which I don't have to do very often. So I don't talk to people on the phone that much. <laughs> I, I guess the big question, and I haven't tried this is if, if I use Skype and my Skype phone number, will this ring? And let, uh, won't it I will. have to have Skype open? No, I don't no. think so. I think if you have the... It, it has to be yeah, backgrounded, but you can't kill it. If you force quit it, you'll have to restart it, but I think it'll go on. Well, let's say I, if I didn't yeah. force quit it. So you, so it would work then, huh? I should try it. it. It'll, I have things, I have like things an, calling all the time. Really? <laughs> signal. It's bugging you Signal all. and... Signal and, does it, right? Yeah. Uh, what yeah. does WhatsApp allows phone yeah, calls? Messenger. The question yeah. is yeah. from a landline because we know you can use FaceTime to anybody with an iPhone, and I know you don't have any friends who don't have iPhones. But uh, <laughs> if, if you had I have that, friends that are, I have friends that, have, that don't have iPhones, I just, I just don't talk to them on the phone that often. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to call you. <laughs> I, I just, it just doesn't happen that often. I, I don't do it on purpose. I just All right, let me don't, let don't. me let me try 
uh, I don't know if no, and I guess you know the the do not disturb rules and everything are going to still apply. Let me just try calling this. So, I guess we're back at a ten digits here. <laughs> I'm not going to give out this number because this is not one I. So what if I close this and see if it'll ring? I'm calling it now from my phone. It's, it, I don't think it's ringing. Maybe it takes a while to signal through. Hmm. That's the. I completely. Apple should just put a phone app on it. That's what they should do. Like just. Yeah. No, they don't. You know why they don't? They don't want you to buy this instead of an iPhone. It's half. Yeah, it's half the price of an iPhone. Remember those all those photos oh, of people with giant Android tablets with phone apps, and they put it next to their head as a joke. But they're like, <laughs> that's fantastic. This doesn't look very different than the than the Surface Duo <laughs> next to my no. head. No, but, but it's, a, it's a, by the way, unfoldable. no one talks on the phone like this anymore. Have you noticed no. that? They're ta yeah, we were talking about this on Twig. Everybody talks like this. Well, I have AirPods. You or know, you have or, AirPods. Or I have yeah. headphones yeah. or something. I don't. You need wireless. Like well, they're all in public and they're on speaker and they're very loud and it's very weird. Yes, yes. I was about to say. They, they wait till they get to the quiet car of the Amtrak train before they decide, hey, hello? I'm be hearing this argument with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> mama, mama. Mama, 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 me. Um. Yeah, no, it's you, you're right. It's it's uh, the I, I think that the pass through of uh, of phone calls to the device is under the need for it is understated because we're I think all of us will say that getting a, an actual phone call is the least pleasant thing that we could ever do on our on our yeah phone. nobody we, wants we, that we, we live our lives to make but nonetheless sometimes it really is the best solution to a problem such as <laughs> I don't I don't have to tell people what app do you have or what's your account name on this it's like no here is a here is a ten digit number that seems to work I'm as a matter of fact every time. Uh, uh, because it turned out to get a connection, a really good connection between my studio and WGDBA Studios in Boston, uh, the the simplest and easiest solution was to simply have me uh, set up a Skype phone number, and they will call me from their switchboard, and but it will still be like all Wi-Fi, so it's not going to be as good as directly uh, internet connection, but at least it's better. And that was it was it was reliable. It works every single week, and there comes a point where it's like, which would you rather have a reliable connection that will always work, and when you call me two minutes before I'm supposed to be taking up 20 to 25 minutes of stroke time or would you have something that's better stroke better quality but maybe it'll work maybe it won't well and i think that the other thing though is that because we get so much junk you know junk calls you know all these oh, uh, yeah. that that i think that a lot of people like me if if i don't know what the number is i never pick it up ever. oh no never. I, like you know i just I, never you know. Can I say that th that's that's one thing where I, I really wish Apple would put more work into because that's one area in which like a Pixel phone really shines because I'll I don't answer the phone I just because my phone I'll, I'll I'll hear it ring it will uh, uh, it will click to voicemail and instantly I'm seeing a live transcript of what whoever this is yeah. is saying and if it's all gibberish I know that it's somebody speaking in Mandarin trying to sell me a phone card but if it's like hi Andy uh, this is your cousin Phil and uh, burst pipe okay hi Phil what's going on hi. Right, and there, there's yeah. there's so many things you can do with the with a phone connection that would solve these problems that I think Apple is now well well set up to make make this as good a phone as it is at doing anything else instead of it being stuck into wherever they left it at like in like 2011. There is continuity call relay that'll let you answer regular phone calls on your iPad that route through your iPhone, but mm. I'm trying it now and it's, it device, doesn't seem yeah. reliable the other way. Yeah. Again, you know, again, if, if it's something where. A hospital is going to call me. They're not going to text me. They're not going to IM me on uh, on this message. They're going to try to call me to let me know about what's going on in an, uh, in a situation with a family member. And that's where you absolutely want a phone call to go through for you not to mistake it for a spam call uh, and for everything to work with it. A phone's you're, you're, you were raised to believe that a phone system should work without the billing problems. Well, we have to solve that by fixing the hospitals, not the, not the phones, right? <laughs> well, they really could text message us. I guess no, they want to know that they're talking to the right person. There's the privacy issues. Often, is that it? Often, oftentimes, well, I'm sure that oftentimes they do. But again, it's the it's the one. It's some, sometimes you just want that. You, 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 the fact that you've got one simple universal platform that everybody knows, understands, can support, that gives you the freedom to kind of freestyle a little bit and say, now we can create an instant messaging platform. Now we can create a, a voice to text messaging platform because we know that if everything absolutely goes to crap, we can still fall back on dial this 10 digit number. A, a human voice or a robotic human voice will give you the information. Uh, that's. That's 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 just basic. That that's why SMS isn't going away anytime soon. That's why uh, that that's why POTS isn't going away anytime soon, because it's it's an infrastructure that 
just works. That's Carrier reliable. Pigeons. JT, who... Uh, I can't believe I used the acronym POTS. That's the first time in five years <laughs> I've used plain old telephone system. My God, what kind of a nerd am I? <laughs> It Jake, took us a long sorry, time. Exactly we had to get this kind of nerd <laughs> in, in DC. In DC, we had to put a POTS line in, you know, for interacting with television stations, you know, for the for the okay. IFPs. Then they just were. They it has to be a POTS line, and we literally it took us like three months to get a copper. Like, oh, yeah. They don't want to do that to, to install it. They were yeah. like, there was, there was all this resistance. They were like, can't we just give you an IP? To I? And we're like, no, we need a POTS line. <laughs> That's uh, the radio yeah. uh, station a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago now, said turned off the ISDN lines because the phone yep. companies don't want to support them. And yep. we're over the public internet now using Comrex, and you would never know the difference.